And so we started Assemblon. Um, it was called the Washington State Specialty Chemical Company. Our original vision was a world leader in the production of novel molecules that self-assemble. And uh, again, the, the self-assembled molecules had all sorts of applications. They might be for, uh, for growing cells, for um, uh, non-fouling surfaces, DNA diagnostics, antibody devices, molecular electronics, bioseparations. We saw all sorts of great possibilities, exciting possibilities for these molecules. <clears throat> By uh, 2008, um, and the company was incorporated 2001, uh, practically in September 2001, it was a very poor choice of a time, not that we knew, of course, very poor choice of a time to start a company because the economy went into a tailspin after 9-11. Uh, we finally got some decent funding. We had a little, little platform funding. We got some decent funding in 2005. And then our vision was to globally impact, we would made a discovery in hydrogen storage. I'll tell you about this. But the, the vision was to, to globally impact energy storage and use Black electronics, biotechnology, and other advanced technologies through novel assembling molecules and surface molecular engineering. So we had sort of two divisions. We had a hydrogen storage division and a specialty chemical division. And in fact, the specialty chemical division had some very interesting technology uh, to stabilize beer. Actually, we got a lot of interest from breweries uh, and um, you know, it looked like another potential market for us. Well, uh, we started playing around with this, uh, what we call the hydronol cycle, and actually uh, I've, um, uh, hydronol is a trademarked name for the fuel that they invented, and I've spelt it wrong here, but that, that's okay. <laughs> um, so the, the, the idea was uh, we had this fuel, you'd fill your car, you'd go uh, 300 miles, only water would come out of your tailpipe, and then uh, you reached uh, your time to refuel, you just pick up the pump, fill up your car, but at the same time, you'd pump out the spent hydronol fuel, which would then be recharged with hydrogen. So we never burnt the hydrocarbon component. We only used it as a carrier. Um, so the, uh, we have what we call the assemble on hydrogen infrastructure. And, and again, uh, this is actually a little bit repetitious, but it does show, illustrate one thing, is this tank truck that fills up our um, uh, uh, the, the big tank at the, uh, at the service station goes back empty to the refinery. Why can't it just carry our spent fuel back to the refinery where it would be reprocessed, uh, recharged with hydrogen and come back? So that was the system. It seemed to be very internally consistent. And our chemists, uh, uh, we started uh, developing the molecule here. It's spelled correctly, the, at least the trademark name. And uh, what this, this uh, graph shows is um, Here's, here's volumetric capacity uh, for a fuel, and, and of course we want to put it in a car. So you need a tank that holds, you know, or you have to be able to go 300 miles on a 30 gallon tank is roughly what you need to do to have a successful vehicle. And uh, here's gravimetric capacity, what weight percent hydrogen can, can we hold? And uh, if you look at, uh, these are the things the government was investing in, metal hydride slurries, liquid hydrogen, cryocompressed, hydrides, all sorts of things. This is where we were with, our with a variety of different hydronol molecules, so far ahead of the curve. Uh, in, in fact, um, the D we're, we're way ahead of the DOD 2012 requirements for hydrogen storage, and nobody else is even close to meeting them. So this looks all very promising. Uh, a company called Vision Industries um, uh, signed an agreement with Assemblon that when we have our system developed, they wanted to create a nationwide hydrogen storage trucking infrastructure. This is from a blog uh, on the web about it. Um, and uh, so they're developing this truck called Tyrano, a hydrogen fuel cell hybrid class A truck. Those are those big 18 wheelers, the class A trucks. And um, so uh, this was uh, pretty exciting. Uh, Exconomy uh, wrote us up. We had uh, an agreement. Arnold Schwarzenegger was very positive on bringing Hydrogen technology in California, pollution is, uh, automotive pollution is a very serious problem in many California cities. And Schwarzenegger uh, was, was very uh, positive on us, and, and so we, we got a lot of uh, sort of traction there. And um, so this uh, talks a little bit about the um, Vision Industries and their, their big trucks. Here's Arnold Schwarzenegger, here's the sorts of trucks they address. And uh, although this isn't the exact map, what Vision Industries, uh, this is from another company, but Vision Industries had, had some 300 uh, filling stations across the country for their big trucks. 
And they were willing to convert those 300 filling stations, or at least uh, implement within those 300 filling stations, uh, hydrogen uh, fuel technology. So that will look very positive. We also had some agreements with uh, the Burlington Northern uh, Santa Fe Railroad, and they wanted a zero emission battery fuel cell locomotive. Fuel cells require hydrogen to power them. They could not put enough hydrogen on a train to, to uh, uh, power their, their fuel cells. It just uh, the volume was, was uh, inappropriate. Um, and uh, so, uh, let's see, there's a whole bunch of things here about market sizes and all. But Burlington Northern themselves looked at our system and came up that, that the, if they used our system, the hydrogenol system, to generate hydrogen on board for their fuel cells, they could save a billion dollars in annual, annual fuel costs. And of course, millions of tons of CO2 emission would be uh, reduced. So anyway, that was, it looked all very exciting. So uh, uh, our CEO, Michael Ramage, uh, called this sort of a perfect storm, uh, technological uh, superiority, compelling economics, political urgency, defined commercial pathways, swelling government funding, many opportunities, trucking, railroads, stationary power, automobiles, we had a lot of options. And um, I, I sometimes like to think of it, this is starting right here in the state of Washington. If we go back to 1859 in Pennsylvania, uh, Colonel uh, Edwin Drake drilled this uh, first, uh, first oil well in Pennsylvania. Uh, nobody would ever imagine that, that Standard Oil, Esso, Exxon would all come out of that uh, 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 smelly little uh, um, uh, drilling operation. We have a drilling operation like that going on in the state of Washington that could develop a uh, transformational um, uh, strategy. This all looks so great, um, but uh, here it is. It was started in 2001, funded 2005 especially chemicals, beer stabilization, and hydrogen storage. We raised about $13 million. The special chemical market didn't pan out. We, we actually had a reasonably going on to enterprise with that, but it never, it, it didn't seem like we could build it into a business of the type that would excite investors. It would, it's sort of a mom and pop or what some people call a lifestyle business. It would be okay, it'd keep things going, but it would never go big. So that didn't pan out. The H2 storage looked better all the time. We had the relation, whoops, there's a typo there, relationship with Vision Industries, but we had CEO problems, very serious CEO problems, which will go to one of my 10 lessons in a second. And uh, the CEO problems led to a disaster uh, in our funding situation. And now uh, with all that potential that I gave you, we are right on the verge of getting some very major investment, I mean, extremely major investment, but we had a, a two-year almost down period where we literally had to put the company almost into stasis uh, because of the CEO problems, and I'll tell a little about that. But uh, one of the lessons, we started as a special chemical company, then we became an alternative energy company, and, and if you remember that the goal of a corporation, the legal goal is to return value to the shareholders. How best to do this will be decided by the board and the CEO and again, so this, uh, my original company, my idea of doing surface technologies vanished. That's okay. We have something better that can generate more value. Uh, 